Hey guys, Mark Holmes here. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. You know, um, I'm running around. I got to go look at this bathroom and stuff that we're going to be getting out and rebuilding and things, and run some more errands and get back to the shop. Because you know, we got our live stream nine o'clock tonight. And man, I am excited, man. We are under two weeks before the season starts. Uh, three Under three weeks before we have our mega tailgate at FedEx Field and things. I don't know about you, but I'm excited as can be. I cannot wait to get this stuff on. But um, here's how you know negotiations are going better. When you don't hear anything about it. And I think things are getting better between the Cowboys and Zeke Elliott. We know that last week that Zeke was butt hurt, you know, about Jerry saying, Zeke who? You know, he, he stormed off and went back to Cabo and, uh, you know, basically, you know, was, was upset. Um, apparently, he's over that because he was doing an interview in, on a post that's on Pro Football Chase um, that had a uh, uh, Instagram page that has about 180,000 followers. Uh, in an upcoming article, he said that he wants to be a Dallas Cowboy for life. So hopefully that means that the waters have not been poisoned between the Cowboys and him, and he's got no word. Of course, he's back in Dallas, um, supposedly getting ready and still working out. So for him to put that out there, and not to hear anything from the Cowboys, to me, that means that they're talking. That's just my conjecture. That's me thinking and putting the pieces together. Because when things aren't going well, you hear about it in the media to change public perception. And since Saturday, we really haven't heard anything negative other than Jerry Jones kind of throwing the he's under contract line out there. So I think they're working it out. I think that they'll get this thing done this week. And I think sooner than later. And here's the difference because regardless of all this, there's still family. Families have disagreements. You don't always see eye to eye with your wife or your kids and things like that. So the fact that he's still in Dallas, the fact that he's saying that he wants to be a Dallas Cowboy for life, it's just a matter of them getting these numbers together that's agreeable for everybody. You see, this is different than the Le'Veon Bell situation where it got to be poisoned where I just want to go. I don't care. You know, I'll take up, ended up taking a lesser deal to go to the Jets. And that just kind of blows me away that you were with Pittsburgh, you know, a team that challenges for the playoffs every year to go to the Jets, a team that you got to look at and say, you, you might make it better, but let's make no mistake about it. You have a better chance of going to a Super Bowl to end your career with Pittsburgh than you do with the Jets. I have no shade on the Jets, but I'm sorry. You got a long way to go. So we haven't poisoned that situation right now. The Cowboys know what he wants, which is to be the highest paid, okay? And he knows what the Cowboys want to do. You know, right, wrong, or indifferent, they want to be able to sign him. They want to be able to sign Amari Cooper. They want to be able to sign everybody. So it's not trying to be malicious either way. It's just trying to get your way. And hopefully, um, between the two sides, they'll get it worked out. Now, understand, it's the agent's job to get the most money possible. And every deal is their resume for the next guy. Because you want to be that agent that says, hey, man, Cowboys only want to pay Zeke top five money. But I got them to re-up. I got them to move the needle on salary. And that's the selling point. You don't want to be the guy that, that cowered down because then guys will look at it and say, well, you, you got screwed. You follow me? So that's where we are with that. Hopefully, calmer heads will prevail. Hopefully, we'll get this thing done because I am sick and tired of waiting and talking about this. We, right now, regardless of what you hear from the talking heads and all these guys that are out here, you know, that the Cowboys got problems with the defensive line, that the Eagles have the more talented team. You know, I will take the guys that we have on this team collectively, the depth that we have, and that depth showed that defense 
that depth showed like a mother on that defensive line in those uh, cornerbacks this past weekend. We got enough talent to go toe to toe with anybody. Doesn't mean I'm not saying we're gonna win every game, so don't get me twisted. But I don't look out there and say, well, the Cowboys are down here with talent and everybody else is up there. The Cowboys are up there with the best of them, with talent. Now, does that mean that we get it done? Well, you need help. You need a couple of breaks. You need good coaching. And we'll see what we get from that point. But you got the talent to do it with Zeke Kelly in the fold. So let's get this thing done so we can get this season started off right. Woo! So much to do. But at least I got my chickens. My Peruvian chicken season. So all I got to do is throw them bad boys in the smoker this evening. And dinner will be served. And um, got our live stream tonight. 9 o'clock. Hope you guys tune in. Uh, we might even take a few more calls again. I'm Mark Holmes. And thank you guys for being part of the Joe Blue Sports Show.